Well, this trip was a last minute decision as I had a few days to take off. I'd mentioned it to my friend Craig and he was also available, so that was it, game on. Starting from Drumna Drockid, this was going to be a three day ride around the Black Isle and surrounding area. It had been on my mind for some time, and as although the highlands are amazing, the Black Isle has its own character and charm. The only problem with Drumna Drockit and this route is the bloody great big hill you need to climb at the start. I bloody hate this road. trouble with this uh, position Drumming a drock it's a lovely place to start from but the problem is you can either go down the lock side and I wouldn't advise anybody to cycle that road or well, you got this uh, this uh, choice you're gonna start your day with a bloody great big hill which is a total pain in the ass Anyway, the good news is it's the only one on the whole trip. I thought you had long COVID anyway, you tosser. <laughs> I have. How do you know I'm not in a lot of pain? <laughs> I am following you. <laughs> now, you might remember Craig from one of my previous videos. He's got long COVID. Previously, he was competing in fell races and getting pretty good results. So although his competition days are over, his reduced fitness level is still better than my best performance, which is pretty annoying. Luckily for us, after the horrible climb, we enjoyed a lovely, nice and easy ride. Our first coffee stop was at the lovely village of Bewley. Its name's thought to have come from Mary Queen of Scots when she visited in 1564 and commented "See on Beaulieu, which means it's a beautiful place. There's a lovely cafe there called Corner on the Square and it's well worth a visit if you're passing. Time for coffee. Fueled up on coffee and cake, we set off again. The weather was good and we were loving the riding. Take this ride. We then jumped onto the NCR1, which would keep us away from traffic and take us through Dingwall all the way to Alness.
Once out of Dingwall, the route was elevated and we enjoyed a stunning view of the Cromarty Firth. And then our second coffee stop came into view. Like I always say, there's always time for coffee time. Yeah. Now some of you might recognise this cafe from a previous video of mine earlier this year. The Highland Farm Cafe is a cycle-friendly eco-cafe overlooking the Cromarty Firth. There's electric car and e-bag charging available on site as well as a proper stand to park a number of cycles in. The coffee, food and staff are great and if the weather's nice there's an excellent outside seating area. If you do sit out, make sure to wander over and look at the stunning view. Once we'd eaten and Craig had finished faffing around with his gears, we set off again. On reaching Alness, I decided to take Craig down to see Alness Point. Now during World War II, Alness Point was an RAF training base for Catalina amphibian aircraft and Sunderland seaplanes. The base extended all the way from the point up to Invergarden which is three miles away. Once we'd finished exploring, we made our way back to the excellent Station Hotel in town. It had been a great day's riding. <laughs> 